everyone what's up and welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Jordan and I am so happy to have you here today we are in a little bit of a different setup and that is because it is once again time to face my closet over the summer I did an extreme closet clean out like complete deep clean took everything out and I got rid of like three garbage bags worth of things but it is the beginning of February and it is a little premature to say that spring is right around the corner but it will sneak up on us before we know it so I figured I would get a head start on spring cleaning and go through my closet once again and showing you the process of how I decide to keep donate or sell it I'm also so excited to announce that today's video is sponsored by Poshmark so basically if you guys are unfamiliar with Poshmark which I'm sure you probably know what it is but it is a online selling platform so you can resell gently used clothes accessories shoes you name it there is something for everyone on Poshmark it is also a really great incentive to clean out your room because you can make a little bit of extra cash on Poshmark by listing your items that you were already going to get rid of so if you guys are interested you can download Poshmark in the US and Canada using the link in my description box and you can shop my personal closet or of course any of your favorite brands so once again we are here in front of my overflowing closet um, even though I got rid of so much stuff in the summer I still managed to have a completely full closet how I did it I don't know I mean clearly I went shopping we're gonna go through everything and see what we can get rid of and evaluate from there as you can see here is my closet I like to color coordinate I know not everyone does that and they think that's a little bit crazy but if you know me, you know I'm a little bit crazy. So, this is nothing from the norm for me. But it is no secret that it's looking a little bit overflowing and cluttered. Um, as you can see, I do have two hanging racks. And then I actually do have a rack, like, underneath here for all my pants. It's kind of hidden because... I have so many clothes. So basically how I'm going to do this is I'm just going to go through everything from left to right and then top to bottom and decide what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of and then I'm going to go through the pile that I pulled again and kind of decide what I can sell and what I can donate. The first victim. Okay, so this is a top from Forever 21. It's so cute and it's in perfect condition. I've probably only worn this twice in my entire life and I've had this shirt for a good four to five years. Sadly, we must say goodbye and move on. So I take that off the hanger and just throw it over there for now. I got a lot of use out of this we had a really good run but I think it's time to move on because I could not tell you the last time I actually wore this and it is the middle of winter so you'd think I would have worn it by now but yeah no if I haven't worn it in the last six months I gotta let it free okay this dress as you can see I've clearly never worn because it still has the tag on it um, this is a little Forever 21 number, literally in brand new condition with tags. So this would be a perfect item for Poshmark because you want to be very mindful of the quality of the product that you're selling on the app. But if you do have the tag on it, that just gives you another leg up. But this is no longer my style, clearly I've never worn it. Um, and I think I'm ready to let go. We've got this little yellow crop top, super cute. I do love this, but I just don't think I wore it enough while I've had it to keep it, you know? Like obviously I can't wear it right now because it is winter, but I didn't wear it that often in the summertime either. And I do have a ton of yellow tops. So we're gonna part ways with this girl. Here 
here is another perfect example of something you could sell on Poshmark. And as you can see, it has this overlapping fabric that is kind of like an asymmetrical cut. This I bought maybe five years ago and it's from Charlotte Russe and it still has the original tag on it. that I pulled. I definitely pulled more than I thought, and I'm dropping stuff as we speak, but we've got this little number, a little Lake Placid long sleeve, really cute. This is like one of my favorite shirts, but there is a huge hole in the armpit. I probably will stitch this up and then donate it. Next are these pants. They're super cute. They're like very flowy and they have like a wide leg bottom. So I will be selling these. I bought this from H&M like I don't even know when, a couple months back. I haven't worn it and I don't think I ever will. <laughs> but it is this alpaca and wool sweater. It's so soft and obviously the tags are still on. I want to say this was originally like $100 or something. So we're going to sell this on Poshmark. These pants I actually thrifted and I thought that they would fit me because I'm usually a zero or a one but they did not even get over my butt. I have these awesome pair of Zara pants. They have like a little bit of cinching at the bottom and they are like corduroy pants, which is so cool. I wish I could keep these for myself, but they don't fit. So we'll definitely be posting these on Poshmark. I have quite a few more things to go through. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse and go through what I want to donate and what I wanna sell. Cause I don't wanna bore you, you know? So here is everything that I'm going to be selling. All of this stuff is in really good condition, if not perfect condition. So I want to maybe try and get some money back for a few of those things, especially the things I didn't even wear. And then I actually only have three things for donation, but I already have another bag started from a couple weeks ago. We have relocated to my hallway. Sorry, it's a little bit echoey. But I want to show you how I take my pictures for Poshmark. So as you see behind me, I have this lovely photo of my parents on their wedding day. But I'm gonna be taking it down and that's where I'm gonna hang the clothing items so people can see it on a just clean and bright background. There is like a huge window right there, so there's a lot of natural light, which is very important when taking pictures because if you have a low light setting and the quality of the picture is just not good, it's less likely to sell. Voila. Just gonna put that on the hanger, slide it in, move to the table, easy peasy. Now I'm just going to take a few pictures do a full length one and then some close-ups as well so you can see the details um, and I do recommend shooting in square so that it just saves you stuff and you don't have to crop it later on. And there you have it. That is literally all you have to do for taking pictures. If you want to throw a really light edit on it, you can do that, but I don't really recommend over editing the picture because the buyer wants to see what the product looks like without any type of filter on it. They want to see the original colors and all that jazz. So here is my profile. I actually sold a few things already, but I'm going to show you the process of how to sell an item. So here is my feed. This is where everything pops up that you can buy or sell. So I just listed this. So in order to list an item, you're just going to go down to the bottom where it says sell. Click on that and go over to the side to import your pictures. Now you want to select which pictures you're going to use. So I'm just going to click on these four, add, 
And like I said before, if you did shoot in square, it's already cropped for you. Click next. You can also pick what picture you want to be like the cover shot. I'm just going to keep it as that. Next. You can add a filter if you'd like. Oh, I kind of like the haze one. Okay, next. Now all your pictures are right here, and all you have to do is fill out the details. So what are you selling? Forever 21 wrap blouse. Describe it. Ocean blue color with collar. Category, I'm going to click women and blouses. Size is required, so this is a small brand. If you want, you can search Forever 21. Color optional, new with tags optional, original price. This was $18, and I'm going to list it for $12. And then it'll tell you how much you will make once it is sold. All you press is next, and there you have it. Then when you head over to your profile, it will show up right here, and these are already sold. I'm going to repeat the process for everything we pulled and should be good to go. So I have successfully listed everything on my Poshmark. So here it all is just on my profile. So feel free to shop any of the items if you're interested. I will have my Poshmark shop linked below so definitely an amazing way to resell your items and it's so simple but they seriously have like everything that wraps up today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed i love watching decluttering and closet clean out videos they're so satisfying to me and if you guys want to check out my other closet clean out i will have it linked below in my description it was a ton bigger than this one but the main focus of this video was to show you the process of how i decide what to keep or to get rid of and also to show you how you can sell on poshmark but of course you can sell things other than clothes it doesn't have to be clothing it can be accessories, jewelry, bags, home decor, like anything along those lines you can sell. So like I said before, if you are interested, you can download Poshmark in the US and Canada using the link in my description bar and you can shop all the clothes I showed you in today's video as well as clothing from all your other favorite brands. But I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.